Hello, I'm Chris Menard. Today I'm going to cover how to do fuzzy matching with the Power Query in Excel. This is an advanced feature, but I'm going to make it really easy for you. And this is something you'll need the rest of your life. Because what I'm trying to do is match up customers that I made up in column A to the customers I have in column C. I intentionally left column B blank just for training purposes. The problem is if these were an exact match, I could easily use VLOOKUP or the new XLOOKUP function in Excel, but they're not an exact match. As an example, I took some of the largest employers in my state and then I threw my name in in A5, also in cell C2, just to have some data. But Chris Menard is not Christopher Menard. Delta Airlines with the spaces in between the words is not the same as cell C3. FedEx is actually the only one that's still FedEx, but I messed up the case. If you notice, I've got it spelled differently in A4 than I do in cell C5. Also, Emory University, I misspelled some stuff. So even though I'm doing this with customers, you can do this with employees, you can do this with products, you can do it with any type of data. So let's go ahead and match these up using fuzzy matching with the Power Query. The first thing you need to do is convert both ranges to tables. I'm over in column A, I'm in A2, control T, it'll make it a table. Do I have a header? Sure, it is A1, so I'm gonna click OK. You don't have to do it, but I could come and change table one and rename it, but I'm not going to, just for time purposes. I'm gonna come over to column C. I could again do control T, but here is format as table. I'm gonna just pick one that works. Click OK. Again, I could rename it, but I'm gonna let it be table two. I'm back over in column A. So we've already made them both a table. That's the first thing. The next thing is to use the data tab. I have get and transform data group. I'm going to come up here and go from table range. And this will open up the Power Query Editor when I click it. Power Query Editor up in the title bar. This is really simple. Close and load close and load to the box is going to appear and I'm going to do only create connection and I'm going to repeat these exact same steps that I'm doing right now for this table with the table in column C. So when I hit OK, it appears over to the right in a task pane. Table one connection only. I clicked over in column C. Same exact steps Close and load, close and load to, only create connection. Click OK, connection only, perfect. So I created two tables. I pulled up the Power Query, get and transform, only create connection. There they are. Now I need to merge them together, and this is where the fuzzy matching will come in. Data tab still, get and transform, get data, combine queries, I'm going to do a merge. Now this screen appears, this is, it looks complicated, but it's really simple. Let me move this over here to the right, just a tad. Okay. Table one is my master list and there is table two. So all it did is pull the, pull them in. The join type, I'm leaving it as the default, which says left outer, but here is use fuzzy matching. I'm going to go ahead and make a small mistake in case you're trying to reproduce this. If I check this, I'm expecting to see X number matched X number. But when I check it, I don't see anything here. You've actually got to come up here, click once to select this table, Click once. Now the fuzzy matching is working. And it's already picked up that five of six 
are matching up. I'm going to expand the fuzzy matching options and I'm recording so let me pull this up just a tad so you can see this. The, um, just to show you how this works since I've got you here now, if you notice FedEx from table one and FedEx from table two, they're actually spelled the same but it's a different case. That is ignore case. Notice it says five of six right now. Watch what happens when I uncheck this. It goes to three of six. So I've got different stuff different spelled different ways. So there is ignore case. I'm going to leave that one checked. The other one is match by com combining text parts. Let's see if that reduces it. Yes. I would imagine that is probably Coca-Cola company right here. So let's leave that checked. In case you're wondering, I'm expecting hopefully to get six of six. If I come here, I'm just using the tool tip. I'm pointing at this. It's giving me the tool tip. Basically it's saying by default it is 0.8, actually 0 0.80. If you want to see no matches, you come in here and put in the number one, which means an exact match. So now I'm down to three of six two of six. So that is that field there. It looks like it's not picking up the hyphens. It doesn't care about them. Actually, that's the same anyway. I just noticed that. Um, so let me go and change this now from one, which means exact match. 0.8 is the default. Let's make it 0.5. And there I go. Six of six. Perfect. I'm going to click OK. It throws them over here. Here's my initial table one. I'm going to come right up here to table two and click on this to expand it. And I'm going to click OK. So I just clicked this icon right here and then clicked OK. Watch what happens. Perfect. So I did that again. I did that with customers, but you can do that with employees. Let's say you have a master list of employees at your company and they have taken training and I'm in the, and I'm listed in there as Christopher Menard. But when I go take training, I signed in as Chris Menard or Chris A. Menard. That would be an example of that. You could do that with product codes. And then finally, in case you're wondering, how do I get this back into a spreadsheet? Close and load. Close and load to. It's going to make a brand new worksheet at the bottom because I was on sheet one. I'm now on sheet two. It made it a table by default. But there I go. XLOOKUP would not have handled that because there was not a pattern in there. VLOOKUP would not have handled that because there was not a pattern in there. But using fuzzy matching with the Power Query Editor in Excel, we took care of this. Thank you for your time. Have a great day. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel.